the reality here is all over the world today as we speak um ang dami nang nag-shift to biking because it appears to be the safest alternative to public transportation no kasi all over the world nag-iingat ang mga tao sa pag-spread ng covid and um, hindi lang naman sa Pilipinas pero napupuno talaga yung mga public transport ba whether bus yan train yan i used to live in new york after college and mm-hmm. dikit ka parang dito ano nararanasan sa MRT dikit dikit ang mga tao eh ganyan nagse-spread ang covid so um in cities in asia in europe in the us people are going on their bikes. So nung nakita ko yon, sabi ko, wow, ganyan din ang dream ko. Dati pa, dream mo. Marami sa atin na ganun ang dream. But we can't make it happen because we're stuck in the now. Right now, ang haba ng pila, pasakay sa bus. Right now, kulang ng sasakyan. Pero ngayon, may golden opportunity tayo because nawala yung mga sasakyan. Bago magbalikan sana, isama na dun sa kalye ang uh, demarcation for bicycles and that's why we call it the safe pathway act kasi mm-hmm. kailangan safe din ng bikers doon it's not just a matter of creating bicycle lanes because of the way our streets are currently being used puno ng bus puno ng lahat eh mm-hmm. may is out naman ng biker di ba baka mamatay naman tayo niyan <laughs> so it's called the safe bikeway act because ang priority natin are frontliners who need to get to work and Ideally, itong spaces will be colored or yung talagang may mga bat- nakabarikada talaga yan. And ideally, leading pa nga to hospitals. Yun yung parang priority lanes. Mm-hmm.